All right, so this is a continuation. This is a three-part series. So there are two more videos if you are just here. And welcome to my channel. I'm Ojake Dorisara, and my one word is do. In this channel, we share about financial and personal development. This is a part three of the series where we are talking about financial planning, being proactive to your, in your finances, your income, and how to budget and save from a Cameroon perspective. And I'm sharing with you what I'm doing and what is working for me. Now, we ended at you need to have a bank account. Now, for in your bank account, you should have 20% of your income saved. Okay? That's what you should do every month. 20% of your income saved. I don't even think about it. Rule of thumb, save before you spend. Like, if you get your money in today, first of all, remove the 20% and save that one first. No even think out. I say problem all day. Is it the way with this? So? You must get problem all. Some auntie, some cousin, some shoe get for spoil, some new bag for come away now. The ginger you for now, you know, sleep. You only turn the final back. <laughs> some new shoe get for doing all, some new jewelry. As in fact, you know what the back do again. In fact, you are in a moto. You, they are always going to be those urges to satisfy you physically here on end. But save first before you spend don't save what is left <laughs> because most of the time nothing is left it's little or nothing is left so you save first before you spend so you set up 20 percent in your bank account any bank account you're struggling to get one if you're a student you have a limit of i think 2.5 million or is it 2.2 million i think something like that if you are a business person you have a higher limit it doesn't matter just get an account and start saving at start you will not even have two two five million it seems too big to you right now so just get an account whatever limit they give you just start saving it's, it's about building that culture it's about cultivating that habit to how to to think before you spend your money and how to get a a good financial structure that will help you in the future when you have a bigger budget to manage okay because you definitely have a bigger budget to manage okay yeah i'm not how you're talking these stories then you come and tell me say no i don't know what i'll make online you go make them for life i said so yeah so that is it now that was that now for your 50 percent normally when i was reading this um rules and everything i was taught in the 50 percent they say okay you have another account for your 50 percent where from there now you're moving it from your credit card or your bank card you just from the atm you can move it to pay for gas i said ah you move it to pay for gas when you go to the store you can that what you use for your food shopping you pay for your groceries i'm like hey papa what's i want to see they take credit card for money market yes they take credit card they take credit card yes they do pos yeah <laughs> So they want to the one that's more than fifty percent of bank, and then one go, one go, one go, one go buy every week. You one go, one go more money. You still only lying with time for lying. You don't even believe. They go ask the question names. What I ID card problem they did. So that's in complicate. So the idea is shop once a month if it's possible. You can shop once a month. Like get things that you can buy in bulk once a month. Buy in bulk once a month, and then you have part of that money that is just around you. Like there's mobile money that you can use, so that is easily accessible, and you can have cash around for emergencies, cash for transport, you know, things like that. So that that that's what works for me. So you can buy in bulk, and buy in bulk also save you money. You realize that by the end of the month. You, you still have part of that 50 percent that you can carry on to the next month or you just go back and save it with, with the other 20 percent that you had already saved so that's what worked for me so we are done now with that 50 percent and 20 percent now for the 10 percent of your education money i put my 10 percent into my internet <laughs> data because i read a lot i'm always on youtube listening to jim Rohn, listening to listening to many people i am on facebook on facebook i follow a lot of of entrepreneurs, I mean, a lot of entrepreneurial groups. So, when I'm on Facebook, I'm just being empowered, I'm studying, and things like that, plus fun. Yeah, and I also read a lot of articles and websites, business websites, and everything like that. Because I've, 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 I've registered to so many like that, sign up with a newsletter. 
you know when they, when you go to a website they ask you for your email address that's what they do you sign up for the newsletter and then when they have an article written now they will now just send it to your mail or send you an alert that they have released something and then you can just go and check so when you do that over and over youtube knows to just do that to send you those type of materials they, you see you go on facebook the job is suggesting you business material entrepreneurship materials financial development materials same on youtube and google and everything now this is what i do so i decided that these things this is how i learn for now i put that money into my internet data so that's what i do with my 10 percent at the moment because it's difficult right now to get like classes and everything you have to get classes in some kind kind of level of classes that it does not really like fit you right now like for me going to pay for a seminar of fifty thousand going to pay for a seminar for one hundred thousand it does not really like fit to me and a seminar that's seminar of five thousand like and pay and attend a seminar of five thousand and learn something a skill or something but it depends on you and what you want to learn that is why i say from the first series of this be proactive and decide what you want to do with your money what is it that you want to learn and everything how you want to develop how you want your future to look like so that's what i do i put that into my internet data and i'm youtube studying i know that this is not just for calls and making noise because just that alone in my mind makes me when i'm online for too long just browsing facebook and liking and and laughing at memes and everything i know to go check a website and read an article i know to follow a link an entrepreneurial link and study something i know that now that's what i do for my with my 10 percent now with the 10 percent of giving i do there is there's giving you can give in church you can give to a course you can support an orphanage you can choose your own course and give like right now I'm developing my own financial project. <laughs> I'm thinking in my mind. Yeah, we think big and we keep going. So that's how you can use your other 10% for giving. You can give it out to somebody. You can give it to church. You can, you can as a Christian, you know you have to give to church. The, that, that, that is for me as a Christian and my religion and everything. But you determine what you want to do. But know that you have, it's good. I will give a ten you have a ten percent that aside for giving. Either you support the cause, you give to a needy, you give to a widow, an orphan. Like you decide what you want to do, but let it be your piece of effort because your money is your effort that you, you are being paid for at the end of the month or at the end of a week or something. So you decide that I give this to you to anybody, to a church, to a congregation, to an individual, to a cause, whatever. That is your own portion that you are paying forward. Right, so you pay it forward to the world, and we say, Blessed, blessed is you, gives that you receive, right? So you give, and you don't know, maybe that person might just sprinkle a prayer and be like, Lord, bless Doris with more money, and I'll be like, Yeah, <laughs> and I'll be receiving that more money, you get now. So that is it, and then there is 10 more percent for play. Right, like I said, there's ten percent for your play phone. Now, what I do with my play phone is I take myself out once a month. Yep, because I'm I'm developing a crazy attitude <laughs> for expensive things. It's fun. It's nice. I think I said I was going to month. Sometimes I don't. Like last last, I think yes, the last goal was. To gather enough money and then go out and buy with a friend and we did that last month and we were so happy and when we were done we were done we were separating from each other because we went out just shopping we had dinner and everything and when we were separating we said like dream big i then i looked at her and i said dream big and she was like of course there's no way i'm stepping down from here <laughs> only have to go higher because no way you don't taste until no ah, it's cheaper not taste that taste again or you know you know you make so that is it. So that's what I do sometimes. Sometimes I take myself out. Sometimes I save up the money and then just go on a shopping spray. Yes. But normally, in your necessity, you should have clothing and necessity. So this part of clothing is expensive shopping. This one that I go my play on is expensive shopping. Because normally, in that 50%, you should have a location for your, for your clothes. Normal, normal clothing. 
Anyway, that, that one is for another video. We'll talk about how you, can, how you can spend on your clothes and everything to make you save more and not really let you not really engorge more on your amount of money that you have per month. So that is it. So you have your fifty percent, fifty percent of your income that you use for your necessities. It could be anything. So you uh, that fifty percent when the month ends, you just pay your rent, you pay your bills and everything. You leave, leave leave some cash in your mobile money account that you can use as you move around. Leave some cash with you for your transport and everything. And then you have your bank account where you save twenty percent of your income at all time and save before you spend. And then you should also have a ten percent account, ten percent from that your earnings where you put into your education and developing yourself. So you have ten percent that you blow. That's blowing money. Blowing I mean, your whole family of person. You make you feel some kind like it's now what the work. You know, you know, same way you work, work some kind of work. You know, you should so save money. You should so all the money I'm waiting. Give for some money. You go blow one. So that is that you blow that one and then now you have ten percent for giving you decide what you want to do let it be your own way of paying forward and say thank you for your thanking god for your income or thanking the universe or thanking whatever you believe in for your income okay i think that is it just leave a comment if you want us to expand on any particular points just leave a comment and i'll see what we can go from there all right bye don't forget to like subscribe and share this video